So, I wanted to make a quick uh, unscripted video about the subject of environment and how you can basically use your environment to change your result and even more so why you need to use the environment uh, if you want to get better results in life. So here goes. The simple explanation is this. When you're stuck in trouble, when things are not working out for you and you're not you know, where you wanna be in life, in any area, it could be in, uh, in finance or with your relationship, uh, it almost always comes from your thinking and your actions. So both of the same, obviously the way you think leads to your actions. And where nobody asks, where does your thinking come from? Everybody thinks that thinking is like a first thing. It just it's something that just happens. It's it's just who you are. You know your thoughts are just related to uh, the person who you are, and they don't change. You don't know, you know they don't develop. But actually, you're more like a sponge. So your thoughts change dramatically based on your influences. What actually determines your thoughts is your environment. If you're around very very negative and limited people, you're gonna start thinking the same thoughts. Uh, if you're around very positive, happy people, you're gonna start thinking the same thoughts. Uh, if you're around uh, people who work out all the time and are in really, really good shape, you're gonna start thinking about those things. So it's start, gonna start absorbing into you because we learn by a process called osmosis, meaning to learn from, beha from behavior, from what we see. So anytime you have a trouble, any problem in your life that you're not able to solve, uh, let's say you have a trouble passing above a certain ceiling of finance, or in relationships you're having trouble finding a good partner, or you're having trouble keeping a partner, or you're not a very happy person, or not a very calm person, anything you want to change and improve, don't try to fix it with your own actions because the mind that brought you to this point brought you to this point. So the same thinking and behavior that you've done so far is what led to this point. So unless you're gonna make a dramatic shift from what you've been doing, and it has to feel like something that's wrong, something that's against what you're used to doing. So if you um, are about to do it, uh, a change and it doesn't feel like something that you resist, like, oh, that's, that doesn't feel right. If it feels right, that means it's the wrong change because it's something that you or used to doing it, something that's within your current paradigm, which means that it's not really a big change, which means you're gonna stu be stuck in the same place. So the best way to do it, again, bar except the fact of uh, trying to do it yourself, but going through something that's really different from what you've ever done, and again, the feel that you get resistance from, uh, the best way, the single best way to improve your life in any area is to find somebody who's already mastered that area. So if you want to get more fit, get better looking, uh, just find somebody who lives that lifestyle, who works out all the time, who uh, is very you know good at strict about health and diet. You're gonna if you're gonna spend time with that person, you are gonna start changing yourself very fast from day one. By the way, and your thinking will change, your actions will change, your results will dramatically change. Um, but if you try to do it yourself it's just not gonna happen because you're not gonna know how to think or what to think and it's just not gonna end up very well. So the thing that I recommend the most is again, to find people who don't have your problems because the people who don't have your problems are the very people who will change your life if you meet them. So don't be proud of yourself. Don't be too um, trusting in who you are and your ability to solve issues realize that you're not as smart as you think and that you actually need really good people around you. You know, as they say, a uh, king is only measured by his advisors and how good they are. Uh, so treat it the same. Basically find people who are very, very successful in areas that you wanna be successful. And by putting yourself next to them, you're actually going to uh, get these problems solved automatically. So I hope this helps and uh, let me know what you think. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so immediately. Thank you.